Hello everyone, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Thank you for applying to INHA Paku Engineering University dual degree program. This video is made to help you understand how the online exam will be proceeding, which is managed and conducted by INHA University in Korea. Please watch this video carefully to the end and be well prepared to exercise your maximum capacity at the actual exam. Now, let's get started with the tutorial. Due to COVID-19, INHA Paku Engineering University's dual degree program's entrance exam will be conducted online in forms of online written exam and online interview. Because of this nature of the test, there are several things you are required to prepare beforehand. You will be able to take part in the orientation and the actual exam successfully only if you have prepared those things properly following the instructions. The basic tool used for the exam is a video conferencing application named Zoom, through which you and your proctor will get connected. So make 100% sure that this application is installed properly on your phone before the orientation. You are asked to sign and submit the app via Google survey. The link for the app will be sent to all our applicants by email. When you're taking the online written exam, you can use the answer sheet provided by Inha University only. We are going to send the answer sheet file by email. All our applicants are required to print out two answer sheets per each subject ahead of time. One for the orientation session and the other for the actual date of the exam. Speaking of online exam, stable internet connection, PC, and smartphone are three of the most essential conditions you are required to set up your environment like following. You first need to choose a quiet and solitary place. When choosing a place for the exam, make sure it is enclosed by walls or at least by partitions, therefore affording no open space including windows in front. You will not be allowed to proceed if you fail to follow this instruction leaving open space on your front side. And then, you need to prepare your computer and smartphone with stable access to network. And also be sure to set your place completely solitary. If any other person is seen or heard or noticed in any form or fashion, you'll be disqualified from the exam. You also need to check and make sure your devices and your place don't cause any trouble or glitches such as electricity cut or battery shortage or network disconnection. You also need to check if your mic sounds in a proper volume and if your smartphone screen rotation is unlocked, which needs to be unlocked. You will be held responsible for the result caused by malfunctions or uncontrolled disturbances stemming from your devices. In addition, using a dual monitor is not allowed. Please be fully aware that for the sake of ensuring fairness in the whole course of the exam, if your network condition becomes unstable, for example, if your video stops streaming or your screen goes black, or if you fail to comply with the given instructions due to your network problems, the proctor is authorized to remove you from the ongoing exam. Then we're done with the test environment setup. Now we're going to show you an actual example of how to place your phone as you hear an instruction from the proctor to do so in your exam. If you have a smartphone holder, it would be much more convenient, but if you don't, prepare two thick books or any two heavy solid objects. Fix your phone between those books. Place it 50 to 60 centimeters away from your chest. And carefully position your smartphone camera at an angle from which the screen includes your face your hands, and your PC monitor all together. Please double check 
if all those are showing properly on your smartphone camera. And beware of unnecessary smartphone adjustments. If you touch or move your smartphone in the exam and end up failing to capture your PC monitor or both your hands or your face in the screen, this will lead to your disqualification. Now, I'm going to tell you how things will be proceeding step by step on the actual exam date. You will have a chance to practice and experience the way it goes through the orientation session, but do never forget to familiarize yourself with the rules and methods before taking the exam. Things that are allowed to be placed on your desk include passport, pencil, eraser, and two answer sheets, which means one for math and the other for physics. If you are found to have any other item than these, it will be counted as cheating. As informed already, you have to have your computer and smartphone properly in place with a stable internet connection at your own exam site. Come to the online exam site at the appointed time through the link provided by email and wait for your entrance to be allowed. The email will be sent to you about 40 minutes before the exam. And at your entrance, please activate your audio and video. In addition, you are required to unlock your screen rotation on your smartphone so that your screen rotates automatically as your phone is laid on the desk on its lengthier side. Show your passport and your face on Zoom following the instruction as the proctor checks the identification. I'm going to check your passport. Show me your passport. Okay, thank you for your confirmation. And position your phone in accordance with the guidelines you've been informed of. If the identification step is completed for all the applicants, the proctor will send the exam file by email. When the email arrives, Please download the exam file on your computer. I the question file. Okay. Please check your mailbox. Get the question file. Yes. Okay. I will let you know the password and then open a password. The password is nine nine and small e a a. After open the, you can start the immediately. Open up the file following the instruction and stay ready. The proctor will soon announce the password. Then you begin to solve the questions by unlocking the exam file with the given password. The questions are basically written in English with the keywords translated also in Russian and Azerbaijani alongside the English texts. As for the paper use, you are allowed to use the answer sheet only for writing your answers and solving processes. Using any other paper is not allowed. In addition, don't forget to write your name in English and your application ID on your answer sheet. And you need to remember, answers without solving processes are given zero point, so don't forget to write in both. 
And when you're writing your answers, be careful not to make them look messy, but make sure to write them all neat and clear. You will have 60 minutes to answer the questions for both math and physics. Six short answer type questions will be presented per subject. And you can write your solving processes in English or in your native language. When the exam ends, the proctor will signal the end by saying time is up. Then you stop writing, put down your pencils, and put both your hands up on your head. And following the instruction, take out your answer sheet and show it to the proctor. Time is up, stop writing. Hands up your hand. Alija, show me your answer sheet for math. Okay. And uh, next, show me your answer sheet for physics. If you keep writing after the end announced, refusing to listen to the proctor's instruction, you will be immediately disqualified. So please move in perfect compliance with the instructions from the beginning to the end. And when you are showing your answer sheet to the proctor on your smartphone camera, please double check and make sure that the entire contents are included and showing clearly. If this exposure process is over for all the applicants, the proctor will give you an instruction. Then you will need to take a photo of your answer sheet using your smartphone. When you're taking a photo, be careful not to capture a blurred image and do your best to capture the clearest snapshot possible. And then you send the saved images to your proctor by email. When you're sending the email, you must put in your name as the title of the mail. As email submissions of the applicants are checked by the proctor, the proctor will announce that the whole examination process is over. Then the applicants can leave the Zoom meeting room. Thus far, I've told you on how the exam begins and ends. Once again, we'd like to ask you for your cooperation and compliance through all this procedure as this whole exam is going online. Be sure to keep those rules and guidelines in mind and follow them as you take the exam. The exam will be recorded all throughout the process and the proctors will not receive any questions while in the exam other than giving instructions. And this is it for the tutorial today. Thank you very much for your attention and I wish you all the best for your exam. Good luck to all of you.